Anyway, those of you that don't know me, uh, I joined Forever 22 years ago in this June. Um, it's been an incredible journey, but my background was in property uh, investment and development. And I worked that business for many, many years. And the, through the 70s, I started to invest into property in my 20s. And uh, by the end of the 70s, I formed a, a, a property company and started to do it seriously, not just as an, a, a sideline. And I started to develop properties for rental throughout uh, Nottingham. And then I actually started to develop properties for sale. So I converted big old houses into luxury apartments. And then I started to build small apartment blocks from the ground up. And um, that was all very well. And to be honest, in the, in the late 80s, I thought I was made. I mean, I had everything. I had a beautiful home. I had the cars, the money. You know, I was successful in any, every sense of the word. And all it was going to do was just get better and better and bigger and bigger. And that was, that was going to be my life. And I loved it. I loved messing about with property. But um, sadly, for me, a few events occurred, like the recession of the early 90s. There were probably not many people here old enough to remember that. Um, but um, first of all, interest rates went to 15% base, uh, the property prices started to drop, nobody was buying property, and come 92, the thing that really finished me was my bank phoned me one day and said we're closing. They actually closed the bank. Uh, obviously, I wasn't, my main loans weren't with Barclays or NatWest, I was with a merchant bank. And they had, a, they had what they call a retail banking arm, which dealt mainly with property companies. And they decided, because they'd lost so much money at Canary Wharf, they were shutting that bank, and they wanted the money back. That was it. Long story short, by 1995, I was completely skinned. All the assets had gone, and I was back to square one. And I literally just had a blank piece of paper. I had nothing. I had to rent my house out. I couldn't afford to live in it. That was later sold. I was living in a one-bedroom flat with my partner and a, and a small child. And I had nothing. I had no future. I had no pension because my business was my pension, I had no income, I had no, no, no prospects at that particular point. So I wasn't in a very good place when this guy suddenly phoned me out of the blue, a guy called Mike Riley, I remembered him obviously because we had the same surname, and asked me if I'd like to come and have a look at a business opportunity. And I said, yeah, okay, great, okay, I'll, I'll come tomorrow down to this place in Warwick called Longbridge Manor, and I'll come and have a look at the business. And, uh, and I went, I wasn't excited at all because I just thought, I know what this is, it's one of them daft... American pyramid schemes, get rich quick, that they're going to entice me into and they're going to want thousands of pounds off me to get involved. It isn't going to be for me, but hey, there was a glass of wine and there was a bit of lunch on offer, so I went along. <laughs> but of course, when the presentation started, I had a completely different mindset. Sorry, when it finished, I did have a completely different mindset. Having sat there on the front row thinking, this is not for me, I'm going to say to Mike, thanks very much, but no thanks. And, you know, like 45, 50 minutes later, I just thought, I've got to do this. I've just got to do this. I could see the potential, having never ever heard of Forever Living, obviously, and never even heard the words aloe vera. I didn't even know what it was. I had no idea. But you know what struck me about that presentation? I thought, this sounds too good to be true. If only half of it's true, I'm in. <laughs> and this could be my saviour. It was my lifeboat, and it was. And it changed my life, it's changed Louise's life, it's changed all our children's lives. It's had a massive impact uh, on, on our lives generally. But it started very small. And all the things you've heard today, all the negative comments from people, I heard someone say on stage about they thought, their friends thought they were nuts. Well, you can imagine, you know, I was quite wealthy and I had wealthy friends. You know, I had lots of millionaire property developer friends. They thought I was crazy. I mean, literally, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm saying literally, they thought I should be certified. They thought, this guy's gone nuts. <laughs> He's shaking this yellow bottle in front of me, saying you've got to start drinking this stuff. They thought I was just, had lost it completely, lost the plot. <laughs> didn't, didn't want to know, a lot of them, just didn't want to know. He's crazy. He's a property guy. That's where his expertise lies. What's he doing with this crazy cactus juice? Yeah? <laughs> but, I, but I just continued. I just continued to do... The thing, and what was interesting was that I, you know, when I first saw Forever, and within that afternoon of, of talking to Mike, I was saying, yeah, yeah, how am I going to do this? I was kind of impatient to know how to do it. And he said, actually, the how's easy, it's the why that's a difficult bit. And that's what Adam said. It's not the how to, it's the will to. We can all be taught how to do this business. And when I sat in that room, and there might have been 30 or 40 people at Longbridge Manor on that day, and some of them were in the business. Some had been in the business for a, a little while. And I thought, well, if they can do it, why can't I do it? They look just like me. I'm capable. I can, I can do it. 
although my confidence, you can imagine, was on the ground. I was not in a good place financially, but also emotionally I was not in a good place. And forever lifted me instantly. And I use it very often as an example. You, you, we talk about changing people's lives. When do we change someone's life? We change it the day they see forever. A lot of people look at forever, but only a small proportion see it. That's the difference, and I've always had that in my mind. So when I'm going through the process, and you've heard all about it this morning, about introducing people to the business, getting them involved, coaching them, and bringing them along through the business, it's, it's an emotional roller coaster, and I realized that right from day one. And the negativity did not put me off, not for one second. And I have to say, hand on heart, honestly, never, ever, one second of the last 22 years have I thought I might give up on forever and not do it anymore. Never. The thought never, ever, ever entered my mind. This was it for me, and Adam puts it very, very nicely where he says, I plant my flag here. And that's what I did. I just said, this is it, this is my future, this is what I'm going to do. And it took me 23 months to go manager. Sorry, us to go manager. <laughs> and Louise had a big part to play in that because, of course, when I met Louise, I'd been in the business for about 12 months. I was just a supervisor. I was doing lots of other stuff, you know, but phew, you have to get on with it. And we've got on with it in spades. Bob talked this morning about passion. I mean, I'm here to talk to you about global incentives, but I'm just setting the scene. So Bob talked this morning about passion, and of course we have passion for our products, we have passion for the company, we have passion for our profession. But you know what I'm passionate about, as well as all those things which are a given, I'm passionate about mine and my family's life. That's what I'm passionate about, and that has always been our driver in this business. And the biggest compliment anyone can ever pay me is not telling me how much I know, but by saying you're obviously very passionate about what you do. Because I am. We, we are. We both are. And I know lots of people in this room are. So, let's get on with the presentation. I need a clicker, don't I? Hang on. Excuse me a sec. Okay, but before I start, I'd just like to... I, I, I'd just like to see who, who was at the global rally in Dubai. Who had a profit share check? Stand, stand up. Stand up if you had a profit share check. S stand up if you were... <laughs> stand up if you qualified for the global rally. Stand up if you qualify. Don't sit down, don't sit down. Stand up if you qualified for the global rally, please. Stand up, stand up, anyone who was at the global rally who didn't qualify. They need a big round of applause. Stay standing. And who in the room wishes they'd been there with us in Dubai? Stand up. So what, why, why, should we, why should we qualify for these incentives? Why, why should we go through this process of qualifying? Again, the how-to is easy. It's all laid out. Rex will give us these trips if we do some work and we qualify over that 12-month period between January and December. We'll qualify to go. But why would we want to go? Okay, it's a free trip. That's a good enough reason. Someone else is paying for, to go somewhere nice, to stay in a beautiful hotel. Very often, it's always usually a five-star hotel. And you get spending money as well. $500, up to thousands of dollars. If I should be cash, we get it on a card now. We don't get the envelope from Bob like we used to. We get it preloaded onto a debit card, and we can stick it in a machine or spend it anywhere we like on Visa. That's how we get that spending money. But what's the real reason why we should qualify for these incentives? 
It's a business building process. But why then should we set a goal to achieve these incentives, these global incentives? Because, absolutely, it's a big motivator. Uh, we heard this morning about light bulb, light bulb moments, and Louise and I have had loads of those, and one of the biggest was the first rally that we went to, to the United States, many, many, many years ago, and that was a huge light bulb moment for us, because we saw, we were managers obviously at that point, but we saw a lot further, we were sort of, we'd climbed the smallest mountain, and we could see a lot further, and we just keep, kept on climbing, until eventually you get to a position where you're on Everest, and you can see everything, it's all laid out in front of you. But... Our lives are made up of memories, aren't they? Right, right now, if we think about our lives, about our families, about what we've done in our life, they're all memories, they're all gone. Okay, we have lots of, lots of digital information now with videos and pictures to remind us of these memories. But you know what? Our life, you know, I don't want to be morbid, but when we're coming to the end of our lives, what do we have? We have all these amazing memories, don't we? And that's what forever creates amazing memories. And the most important thing about qualifying for these events, where else would you get to bump into Greg Morn? Or Aidan O'Hare? Or Garen Reinhold? Or Navarre Goswala? Or even Rex himself? Where else do, would you go right now to meet those people? There isn't anywhere else. You need to go on these global trips because those people are accessible to us. One of the very early trips, in fact, I tell you what, it was the first trip we went on with, with uh, Forever to the United States, and it was in New York, the Global Rally was in New York. And we were on a trip down to McCallum, where Forever have a big plantation down there. We stayed in a local hotel, it's right on the Mexican border, and Rex came and sat with us and had breakfast. He, sat, he just came with his bowl of cereal, he said, can I sit with you guys? <laughs> where, where does that happen in Forever? You have to be at those events. You have to be around the people, the movers and shakers in forever, and that's where you see them. And what's happened to us over the years, we have made so many really great friendships with people that the reality is most of the time we only see them maybe twice a year or possibly three times a year. But from those relationships, they've worked with us, they've come to the UK and worked with our team and we've gone to their countries to work with their teams so we've helped each other along the way. But I'm talking about global leaders like Kim Madsen. You know, we got to know Kim. How? Because we, we were, we're on all the trips. We're there. We're always there. He's always there. We've got to know. And Kim's a very close friend of ours. In fact, we went to his wedding uh, the other Sunday, uh, at the end of the rally. On the Sunday, Kim got married. And it was like forever royalty. <laughs> we had to be there. Imagine if we hadn't have qualified. We would have paid to go, obviously, to Kim's wedding and, and, and the rally as well. But, it, but forever paid for us to be there. This is the point, this is the reason why it's important to qualify for these events. It's not just about the free trip. It's what goes on around that trip. What happens in the bar? What happens around the pool? What happens when you're out of this kind of arena, this training arena of the rally, when you're out socialising with people, the friendships you make, the acquaintances you make, the conversations you get involved with can be life-changing. And all these people and all our friends around the world have influenced Louise and I a, a great deal. And hopefully maybe we've had a little part to play maybe in a little bit of their success in, in various areas, certainly with, with product knowledge. You know, we have the best trainees in the UK, don't you? Yeah. You all know that, don't you? Yeah. Nowhere in the world comes anywhere close to the trainees we get here. And that's what Bob intimated this morning. So, let's have a quick look at what we do on our rally. Day one registration with our good friends, Alan and Chris Goldsborough. The golden ticket, do you know what that is for? That's for the new product. When you check in, you get a golden ticket, and when the product's launched, you get to go and get free new product given to us by Forever, as well as other goodies. We get the bands, some of our old friends from London. <laughs> I don't know if they're here today. Alistair Barcroft and his wife. So, this is what we got in our little rally pack as we arrived. Drinks, a couple of uh, lovely kind of um, journals to use, a couple of lovely pens, a couple of mugs, a bag, all sorts of useful stuff that you need on the Forever trip, all given to us free by Forever. And then we check into our five-star luxury accommodation. You know, that bed's big enough. 
That bed was 10 feet wide and 10 feet long. <laughs> Top training on the second day that we were there on the Tuesday, we had our new product launch. And we had amazing training from people like Patrick Holford from ION, the Institute of Optimal Nutrition, and I've heard he's going to be our, one of our guest speakers in June for the success weekend. Holly Stout, who we've got to know. Louise is quite close to Holly, product development, and they bounce off each other, and they're always on the phone and always on, you know, on Facebook about stuff. She's an amazing lady, and she's making a huge difference in Forever right now. Um, new products launched, so we get that new product training, and we are just blown away by the new product this year. And Kim Madsen, who couldn't share the information really with us, but he didn't know that actually Louise got the product anyway, because she's an advisory board member. But with it being on the GLT, they knew about this product last year. They were told about all this last year in September. And the training isn't just for us. It's for people that you see on the screen. John and Jane were there, Aidan's there, Greg's there, and, and lots of others, by the way. Took lots and lots of photographs. What happened on the third day? Well, a day at the Atlantis. Who would like to go to the Atlantis Hotel in Dubai? So Forever organized that for FBOs, all the qualifiers, to go to the Atlantis for the day on Wednesday. Day four, well, the big part of day four was the event on the Thursday evening, which was the first check event. Lots of checks were given out, up to, I think it was the region of $20,000. You can see Louise and I there arriving at the Jumeirah Beach Hotel, which overlooks the um, Burj Al Arab. Uh, our soaring eagle managers from the Netherlands, Hans and Marianne van der Ven, and chairman's bonus qualifiers. Um, it's a great party. Who'd like to be there? I know there's only a few. It was lovely and warm. The food was fantastic. Do you know, uh, I'll tell you what's interesting with Forever. Louise and I have been on so many trips with Forever, we lost count. And because I was doing this lot today, I thought actually I'd count up how many trips we've been on with Forever. All expenses paid by Forever. And what happens is, every year they surprise us with something new, something different. So you know you think you've been going on these trips for like 18, 19, 20 years, whatever it is. You think you get a bit, might get a bit bored if someone negatively looks at, oh yeah, well, what, another trip? It's just... <laughs> they, don't, they just don't get it. They just, people just don't get it. Oh, you're going to another one of those forever trips? Aren't they a bit boring, those conferences you go on? Yeah. <laughs> It's weird. So, let me, just, let me just very, very quickly go through where Louise and I have been uh, in the last 22 years with Forever. New York, Vancouver, San Diego, Houston, Los Angeles, Denver, Washington, the Bahamas, Singapore, Johannesburg, Branson, Missouri, Dubai. We've been to Dallas three times, San Francisco twice, London three times, Phoenix four times, Las Vegas four times, Hawaii twice, Lake Tahoe twice, Greece twice, Mexico four times, Spain and Portugal. Frankfurt, Budapest, Athens, Nice, <laughs> Bucharest, Vienna, Malaga, Berlin, Stockholm, Copenhagen. They're the European Rally Resort. 50 trips we've been on with Forever. 50 all expenses paid trips. So this was just before the check revealing. Look at that. You've all seen this image, haven't you? Bob mentioned it this morning in the, in the opening. When that happened, 2,000 people went, oh! That was the noise that 2,000 people made. We could not believe what we were seeing. It was just incredible. And what I suggest you do, you have that as a screensaver on your mobile. And when anybody says, oh, it's a pyramid scheme, show them that picture. And I said to Nick Woodward Shaw, Nick Woodward Shaw is the director of global events, he's a very old friend of ours, because Nick started his career here in the UK. And um, the, it, this was actually at Kim's wedding, I was speaking to him, I said, you know, that was, Nick, what he did there was just, just unbelievable. Apparently Greg and Aidan had no idea it was going to happen. And um, I said to him, I've, I've had an idea, use it as a screensaver. And then suddenly a thought occurred to me, why don't we have an event in Egypt 
have that all over that big pyramid. And when people say, is it a pyramid scheme? You say, yes, it is. <laughs> so these are our six chairman's bonus qualifiers for 2016. Uh, two, two couples from the, uh, from the Benelux countries. We just had a great time. And that was the real, one of the big surprises of this, of this event in Dubai, is that party, the food was amazing, and we could get alcohol as well. There's loads of alcohol, it was fabulous. So this is day one of the rally. Now you can see one of the big billboards there. It was difficult to take a photograph, but as you approach the World Trade Center in, in Dubai, Forever had three huge billboards in that square. It was just dominated by Forever. So anybody walking through that and past that, they're going, who's this company for? They're called Smile, what's all that about? Just like the event the night before, the people who were staying in the hotel, milling around the hotel, they were stopping us and going, what, 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 what's happening, what's all this? What's... We've seen Forever down the Burj. Well, it's obviously, they knew it was our party because we were logoed all around the place. And they wanted to know what was happening, what it was. So I don't know how many people were probably sponsored into the business on that night. So it was just a, absolutely great. You can see the people with, the, with the, the blue and white on, the Team GB and all that. Just absolutely brilliant. And this is Adam's team, or, or a lot of them, with their checks standing outside. Another one of those massive, great big posters. That's our check. <laughs> When you get to level two, it makes a big difference. And obviously, what was great was to see a lot of our very close friends get much bigger checks than us, the people you see here. We know them all very well. We love them dearly. And it's great to be with them, and it's great to share in their celebration when they get their level three chairman's bonus checks, which is obviously next on our list. And the top check, the top man himself, Rolf Kip arrived in a white Lamborghini, by the way, on stage. This white Lamborghini drove onto the stage and Rolf, his wife, and his two young kids got out of it. And then they were given, uh, they were given that check. And Forever always have a lot of fun when they're giving out the checks. It's not just, there's the check. They always really, you know, they have games and all sorts. You know, Adam will tell you, the game he was involved with to get his check, it's quite amazing. Absolutely fascinating. So what do we do for the Global Rally? It's quite simple, 1,500 cc's from January the 1st to December 31st. That's it. That's all you need to do, 1,500 cc's. 125 cc's average per month throughout the year. If right now you're sitting here knowing there's like eight months to go of the year, but you've already got a few hundred cc's, what I suggest you do is map out what you need to do over the next eight months to get there. Because I'm telling you, Dallas will be the party of all parties I'm quite sure the check of revealing the first night, the Thursday night will be at Dallas, will be in South Fork Ranch, Dallas, yeah, where we've been many times. The barbecues there are to die for. And I tell you, going there for a barbecue, you can't buy that. You can't buy it. That, that event's priceless because no one can do that. Only us can do that. And forever put on a rodeo. So you get all the horses and the cows and the bulls and all that and the clowns and all that kind of stuff all goes on in that evening. We've been a few times to that event at South Fork over the years and it is a stunning event. But of course, bear in mind, this is a global incentive. So all your case credits from all over the world count for this incentive. So if you've got a few coming in from other countries, it all counts for the global rally. If you've not qualified already for the Global Rally, please put it on the top of your list and just map out what you need to do. Get together with your sponsor, get together with your team and map out what you want to do. And I'm just gonna close my section by giving you a story going right back 20 years ago nearly when Louise and I failed to qualify for the Global Rally by 100 cc's. And we just let it happen. You know, we just, we made the mistake of just thinking, it'll happen. When it happens, it'll happen. Instead of what we do now, and with team, and coaching, and mentoring, we set that goal, and we work with people to achieve that goal, and they do it much quicker than we did. Because we just thought, oh, it'll happen, and we missed it by 100 cc's. Anyway, the following year, guess what? Because we'd brokered managers and everything else, and we weren't gonna do it again. We were gonna miss it by about 100 cc's, again. And we just thought, that can't happen, and Louise, she who must be obeyed <laughs> said, 
It was the weekend before the end of the month, and we had 80 case credits to do. And again, I'll be totally honest, I kind of given up as if we're never going to do that. Anyway, we've been working hard. We're working hard on the monthly check, and this is going to slip by us again. Louis said, no, it's not. We're going to do this. So we spoke to Adam, and Adam coached us how to do 80 case credits in a week. <laughs> and I tell you, it was the most exhilarating week of my life. <laughs> I've never made so many phone calls. I've never spoken to so many people, ever. And we did actually over 80 case credits. I'll never, ever forget that week. <laughs>